Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with another parlay party for you guys. For Tuesday, January 10th, we are going to talk some hockey, lots and lots of hockey. Don't forget, like, subscribe, ring your, uh, ring the bell for notifications. You'll never miss an episode of Par uh, Picks and Parlay or the Parlay Party. Uh, there's a lot of words that start with P there. <laughs> so, uh, Picks and Parlay, Parlay Party. Holy moly, I just said it out loud. Um, like and comment your parlay below. In the comment section, let's make some money on a parlay here. All right, NHL. Real quick, Sunday's winner. We didn't do a video yesterday. We didn't have a whole lot going on. Didn't like a lot of parlay stuff, so uh, I stay away. I'm not gonna not gonna force it uh, here in this situation. So especially with the show, I'm trying to trying to make some money here. We are. This was Sunday's winner. Last show's winner. Uh, plus two eighty. We are on a three day. Win streak here. We got a plus two quarter, plus two fifty, plus two eighty. I got a really, really nice one for you guys here uh, that I think you're really gonna like. Um, all right, let me scoot over so you guys can see this. First thing we're gonna start off with real quick is we're gonna start off with the Canucks and the Penguins. Penguins minus one one ninety five over under in the six and a half. Shop your lines. Uh, I've seen it at two hundred. I've seen it at one eighty ish. I'm using. Uh, for the purposes of this contest and this, these numbers, I'm using Barstool, uh, just so we're all clear. If you have Barstool, this is exactly what they have. Uh, Penguins are 8-10 and 10 in their last 10 games while playing on one-day rest. Canucks are 5-17 in the last 22 versus Eastern Conference opponents, taking the Pittsburgh Penguins on the money line. I'm going to keep rolling with that. Uh, I, th I think they're a good team. Uh, I think they're better than Vancouver uh, at this point, and the line shows it. I'm just going to, for the purposes of this, I know it's juicy, 195. I'm still taking it. Uh, next game on the second leg of the parlay, Calgary at St. Louis. Calgary's minus 169, 170-ish uh, at the Blues, over under six. The over is six and one in the Blues' last seven games when they play on one-day rest. I thought this was a really interesting stat. Also, Calgary – is over six and zero, or is six and zero to the over last six games while playing on one day rest. Basically the same stat, just for different teams. I thought this was perfect. Both these guys, both these teams play well on uh, one day's rest, at least lately. Uh, so I'm going to buy the six down to a five and take it over five. I don't want to push at that six number. I think that six number is right about right. So I'm just going to push it down uh, or buy it, buy it down to go over five. Next leg on the three on the four team parlay. Four teams. I'm gonna take Carolina Hurricanes on the money line. Devils at the Hurricanes, minus 150, over under six. Hurricanes are 42 and 15 in their last 57 home games. This is a team that knows how to play at home and knows how to win at home. I'm taking Carolina. Uh, also, the home team is 11 and three in their last 14 meetings when these two play each other. So I'm taking the Hurricanes at home. Next one on the list Panthers at the Avalanche. It's the late game. Possible slaughter game, but I like it anyway. This is the least juicy of the mount uh, of the of the four legs. Uh, Panthers at the Avalanche minus one thirty five over under six. Panthers are one and six in their last seven versus Central uh, Division opponents. The Avalanche are fourteen and three in their last seventeen games playing on two days rest. Avalanche are rested at home, ready to go against a Florida team that. Maybe a little overconfident playing the Wings uh, and having that game that they just played against them. Um, I'm not not too long ago. I'm, I'm not I'm not really worried about this one. I feel really good about this one, uh, to be honest with you. Colorado Avalanche money line for the fourth leg of our parlay. When you add all that up, Penguins money line over five goals, Carolina money line, Colorado money line. We're 520, folks. We're trying to hit one. We're trying to make car payments over here. Okay, so let's get in on this. This will run you some money here. Penguins, uh, Hurricanes, Avalanche, and the over five goals. Buy that down. Buy that down. You need that. Don't be if you don't like that bet that over goals. You could take that off and just run those three money lines, uh, and that's just, just as good. I have that going as well. Just those three money lines: uh, Penguins, Carolina, and Colorado. Um, and then I also added this to just to make it a little bit more juicy, just 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 because I like that plus five twenty. Um, so that's the parlay party right there. Don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, ring that bell for notification, and comment your parlay below. I love reading that. Me and Craig laugh about it in some of the comments that you guys have, and we're like, "Ooh, that guy's a hot, that guy's hot," and we talk about this. So 
Uh, definitely comment below. We'd love to see it. Till then, I appreciate you guys, and we will see you on the next Parlay Party. Good luck, unless you're against me.